Hey everyone, happy Friday. Today we will be um, discussing how to upload your embroidery files to your USB, from your USB, first from your computer to your USB, from your USB to your embroidery machine. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna flip my camera. And I right now I am on my um, software, my Embrilliant Essential. I'm gonna minimize this and show you guys some scratch. So I just bought this design. And as you can see, it is right here. All you have to do is hit download. Once you hit download, can you see? Once you hit download, um, it's gonna download into your computer. So I'm just gonna hit download and it pops up here. I'm going to um, close this out because I don't need this, but this is where my downloads is. And what I'm going to do is click it, make sure it's highlighted. Sorry guys, my computer is like crazy. Make sure it's highlighted and hit extract all. And as you can see, this is it. So my file will be extracted to this mom of slash downloads. So I got to make sure that I find it wherever the this file I wanted to save in, which is the mom of. And I'm going to browse it. I hope that's not confusing to you guys. But you can always change it. So I'm going to change it to this. Right here, my in brilliance. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna change it to this file right here, and I'm gonna hit select folder. And as you can see, it is now going to download it into my in brilliance, and I'm gonna hit extract. And I already have it inside of my um, in brilliance essential. Um, already so I'm going to just hit um, skip these files actually I don't want to confuse you I'm going to hit just replace and as you can see it's downloading to my brilliance essentials so now I can minimize this find my brilliance here I'm clicking on it Come on, baby. So, um, it's two ways you could do it. You could do it through this blue folder, which is merge stitch file, or this folder, open. Okay, so before I do that, I'm going to go to edit it, go to preference. And as you can see, this format, specifically my format, my brother essentials, is specific, specifically made for PES files. Now you wanna make sure whatever um, embroidery machine you're using, it say whatever format your machine takes. My machine, embroidery machine, is only for PES. I'm gonna make sure that this is always in PES format because this is what my embroidery machine takes. This is the format. I'm gonna click OK. And now I'm gonna just find my design. And as you can see, it is right here, the heart crusher. Now what I'm going to do over here is find my PES. Now this is the e DST, which is I don't want that file. This one is HUS right here. I don't need that file. JEF, I don't need that file. This is my PES. I need this file. Now pay attention because this one is a four by four. Now if I want my design bigger, which my machine can go by eight by 10. So the biggest that I'm gonna make would be a five by seven which is a pretty big size for a shirt. So see these sizes here is a five by seven. Sorry for the little blur on my computer. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down until I see PES. That's HUS here. 
five by seven H U S, five by seven J E F. This is the one I want, five by seven P E S. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this design because this is the one I want. And this is my design in my Embrilliance Essential. So I am going to, first of all, you could change colors. You can click on it over here. This blue, if I don't want it, I can change it, which I love all the colors on there. So I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna keep the design how it is. So what I wanna do before I upload it into my um, USB is I want to print preview it just to see how it'll look. Okay, I think it looks perfect. And I'm gonna close it, okay? And you can also add text to it. You can add names to it. You can add whatever you wanna add to it. In this little alphabet box, you could create letters. And over here, in this text ABC box, you can delete it and just put a name. Okay, you could put any name you want, hit enter, and now you see your name here. Okay, you can move it to the side until you figure out what design you would like and the design you could pick from you could go to this um sorry guys let me flip it back this block and these are all of my um my fonts so you could pick whatever font you want to pick which this is for a boy because it has a race car eventually so I'm gonna remove my daughter's name. I'm not gonna do her name anyway, just to show you if you wanna add a name, okay? And you can always um, small size it to where it can fit on your design and put it anywhere you wanna put it. All right, so I'm not gonna put her name. I'm just gonna do the design of the shirt and all you had to do was delete it. But if you wanna add a name, all you have to do is go to this letter, create letters and put the name in the box all right so now what i'm gonna do is hit file i'm going to say say stitch file and i'm going to save it as heart crusher i'm gonna put five by seven save and I just got a text it said this particular person um, asked me to do a video because they didn't know how to upload their files and I'm glad that they figured it out but you could always have this video as a reference in case you forget so now I'm going to go to my um, files that I got it saved on and I usually save it onto my desktop. I mean my quick files. I'm sorry about that guys. And let's see. It is saved as Heart Crusher 5x7. So now what I'm gonna do is insert my USB into my computer. Okay, now that that's, that's inserted, I am going to click it, show more options, and send it to, yes, I'm going to save this video, great, awesome. I'm going to send it to my USB, can you see that? Can y'all see that? I hope it's not blurry, and I'm trying to do this with one hand, by the way, USB. And now that I sent it to my USB, I'm going to go ahead and remove. Okay, great, I'm glad you could see it. This for my computer. I'm going to close my computer. And 
put it off to the side. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff. And this is my embroidery machine right here. So I'm going to, let me move the camera over so y'all can see. Going to turn it on. Wait for it to turn on. And you just click it. And it's just saying, keep your hands away um, from the carriage. I'm gonna hit my hands are away. And it's just checking to make sure nothing is in the way before I insert my hoop. So it's on the main screen. And now I'm going to insert my USB into my embroidery machine. Give it a little bit of time for it to know that I inserted. Click on my USB. is inserted into my machine. And now what I'm going to do is find my design. Before I do that, y'all see this highlighted? That means that the design was too big for my machine. Everyone, else, everything else that's not highlighted, that means it fits, the design fits to my machine. So this is my design. I'm gonna click on it, hit set, and bam. That's all you have to do. That is it. It's inside of my embroidery machine, ready for me to um, hoop it and ready for the design to go ahead and be stitched out onto the shirt. So that's all you had to do, guys. Um, all you had to do was just make sure that your embroidery essential or whatever um, system you're using for your brother machine, make sure that it's, it's in the PES format on your um on your um, system, whatever system you're using to upload your designs on. Just make sure that it's in PES format. You can upload all your designs into your uh, Embrilliance Essential, and then all you have to do is just find the PES format. So um, this is it for the video. I know it's short, and I got some orders I got to get out. I made this cute design, and this suit suit to go with it. It got flat because I had the shirt on it, but I'm going to fluff it out. Um, so cute. It's for a birthday. And I got the bow to go with it. So I got to put it back on my mannequin to see how it looks and then fluff this out. Thank you. I know it's, it's cute. I love it. It's a cute little baby birthday. Her birthday. She's turning one. And I think... I think it's gonna turn out very cute once I finish it but yes guys thanks for watching that's all I had from the video um, any other questions I'd be happy to answer just shoot me um, um, a comment in the box and let me know if you're having trouble with anything else and I'd be more than happy to answer to the best of my ability and I hope you all stay safe and be blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.